Hey guys, in today's video, we're gonna give you a preview of a Windows Phone 7 Mango. Um, I believe it's actually 7.5. Um, it's the upcoming major upgrade to the Windows Phone 7 platform that uh, we should be seeing arrive here um, sometime in the fall, so probably uh, September, or October. Um, so that upgrade will come out for all previous Windows Phone 7 devices, and then we'll also see some new devices taking advantage of uh, Mango as well. So uh, we talked to um, a Windows Phone 7 marketing representative. We get a full walkthrough of Mango, all the new features. It's about 10 minutes long. Um, and there's actually some pretty cool stuff in there that we haven't seen in Android or iOS before. And I think it's, um, you know, once you get a look at it, uh, it's kind of interesting to see where Microsoft's taking their uh, mobile platform. So we're going to jump in. This video was recorded at GDGT Seattle. Uh, first, before we get there, we want to thank our sponsor, Carbonite. We really appreciate the sponsorship that they've given us for this episode. Um, Carbonite is online backup. They will back up your entire uh, computer, um, as many computers as you want to put in there, for one price, unlimited backup. Um, but we're actually offering you a 75-day free trial. So go to Carbonite.com, use promo code TPN, that's the letter T, letter P, letter N, um, and you'll get uh, 15 days added on to the two-month free trial they already give you. So you get 75 days free trial. You don't even need to put in a credit card or anything like that. Um, you just get to use it right away. So go ahead and try it out, Carbonite.com, and let's jump into the Windows Phone Mango Preview. Hey guys, Andrew Edwards here back at GDGT Seattle with Andy, is it Collie? Like the dog. Like the dog, Andy Collie. He, and he, he has a, he's just communications at Windows Phone Marketing, which I appreciate because as I was saying off camera, a lot of these PR people have these ridiculously long, like six word titles, which is just hilarious. All about the simplicity. Right. <laughs> and speaking of simplicity, Windows Phone Mango, all about making your life simpler. Was that a good segue right yeah, there? Absolutely, yep. New communications features that are all about that, right? So right from the top, yeah, come on in if you like. So you've probably seen this before with the original version. This is the People Hub, and it tells you what's new. Originally, it, it drew from Facebook and Windows Messenger. Now it's going to draw from Twitter and LinkedIn too. So you're going to have yeah. So you're going to have four different social networks. Sorry, all going into one feed. So at a glance, you can see you know colleagues, friends, business partners, what have you. But with all that information coming at you. We also want to give you a better way to manage it. So we're introducing a new feature called Groups. So I've got two groups here, my work crew, my SoCal pals. I'm originally from Southern California. This is the way I keep in touch with all my bros. I mean, I've got everything here where I can choose somebody and I can immediately see you know, what they're up to. I can see their pictures, you know, my history of communicating with them. Sorry, I'm going real quick. But well, we want to get that guy, innocent bystanders like information out to the world, so it's okay. <laughs> exactly. Sorry, Jen. Sorry, Jay. Uh, but it also allows true, true group communication. So let's say I'm going into SoCal to visit, right? I don't have to go into an email where I cherry pick everybody. I can just go send message. It gives me different options. Send a text. Hey, everybody, I'm coming to town. Boom. One group message. Very so nice. pretty darn cool. Another thing we're introducing with Mango, which makes it easier, is what we call LinkedIn boxes. Okay. So I've got a Hotmail account, a Gmail account, I'll admit it, and two Yahoo accounts, right? Before I had a tile for each one of those. Two Yahoo accounts? Two Yahoo accounts. One Hotmail. Yep. And your employer is. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anywho, so now I've got them all linked to one. And I get to choose. It's not an all or nothing scenario where you have to link everything together. Okay. So if I wanted just the two Yahoo accounts together, I could put those together and call it Yahoo. What I chose to do is put all that together and call it personal. Okay. And then I've got all my work email and Outlook. Simple. So, and so basically what the linked email does is just give you a unified inbox, but not a forced unified inbox with all your stuff, just whatever you want to be in that unified inbox. Is that correct? Well said. Okay. Which is a cool, I've never, I haven't seen that anywhere else. I mean, yeah. that's, that's a first for you guys. Yeah, it's a great feature. Yeah, it's uh, just because of the fact, let's say I'm searching for a job and I set up an, a couple of email accounts for searching for a job, which I, you know, I was a year and a half ago, I could have just those emails coming into one box and call it 
job search email. Right, right, right. So, I mean, the customization is really helpful. Okay. So, so what else do we got? Well, okay, we've also got what we're calling threads. So the idea behind that is starting a conversation in one method via text and, and continuing it in another. So let's say one of these individuals sent me a message by Facebook Messenger, but by the time I saw it, they logged off. I can actually continue that conversation by text message while they're on their phone. So different platforms, one communication string. So another thing we're introducing, so that's kind of the key communications features. On the search, we're introducing some really cool new features, one we call Local Scout. So taking um, web beyond the browser to find what's around you. So it's going to give me what we call quick cards, so not a bunch of blue links where i got to go to a bunch of different websites. It's going to give me these things called quick cards for all the different things there are to do in the area. So sorry, we're waiting a little bit on the Wi-Fi. We have bad Wi-Fi in here, Listen, admittedly, it's no good. <laughs> so what this will do... Tell us what it would be doing now. What it would be doing now is showing me what to eat and drink, see and do, local attractions, if I have any favorites. Pulling from what? Is just Bing results or is it from Yelp? Bing results. Or? From Bing results, that's right. Yeah, okay, there we go. We got it now. So we've got eat and drink. Hey, show, show box soto, imagine that. See and do, shop. Oh, wow. So if you're, if you're touristing somewhere, yeah. you just pull that right out yeah. and you just have... Exactly. I Everything to do. went to NYC about a month ago, and I was like, I don't know where I'm going to go. And then I just, from the hotel, I hit the local scout and found Blue Smoke Barbecue. Boom. I'm at Blue Smoke. It's great. And then if you tap on it, so let's say this was Blue Smoke, I can see reviews. There's a buzz meter, you know, upcoming shows, I guess. And then if I want to get there, directions from my location, go straight to Bing Maps. Boom, boom, boom. Nice. Seamless. Yeah, it's great. Can you, now, can you show us uh, the Xbox improvements? Well, the Xbox improvements are about integrating the social features. So let me find my guy. Where am I? Sorry. I need... It's down there. It's all down there. There he goes. Okay. So a couple of new things with Xbox. One is you're going to see that my avatar, who's hiding at the moment, should jump in here. He usually jumps in there and does a little feature. But in addition to that, what we've added are there. Hey, there I am, and I got the the shadow and everything. Uh, <laughs> but it's gonna. We have these new things here. It's really excited to come out on this phone. Yeah, I mean, profile achievements, all these different social aspects of gaming are now built in. So, and it's also to point out this isn't specific to Mango, but it sure is really cool when you look at a game like Fable Golf. Coin golf, the fact that you play it on the phone and win points that then can be used in the game on the Xbox, that integration between the two is, is just really cool if you're if you're a gamer. So another thing to show you on Bing Search, which is really darn cool, is what we call Bing Vision. So I'm gonna click on the eyeball. I'm gonna grab So what did you just pick up there? This is Zen in the Art of Motorcycle Maintenance. Admittedly, it's mine, but let's say if it wasn't, and I just, let's see if we got enough light. Okay, there we go. Okay. It just read the text of the book. It delivers what, you know, once again, a quick card. Oh, wow. So I can see about, the price, the description. I can see reviews. Is it any good? So you did not even need to scan the bar. You just scanned, no barcode scan. You just scanned no, the, just the, the front page. Yeah. And it... <laughs> And check this out. Now what we have is extras, and it's what we're calling right now App Connect, but it proactively, upon a Bing search, our phone will recommend apps that relate to the search topic. So we were looking at a book, we've gone to extras, and it's telling me, okay, you could go to Amazon or Amazon Kindle. I'm going to launch my Kindle account. It's not going to go to the homepage. It's going to go straight to the book. So I can go from seeing a book I might want to read, scanning it, going to Amazon Kindle, downloading it and reading it in less time than I'd stand in line at a Barnes & Noble. That's, that's pretty, that's pretty fantastic. Right, of course, again, the Wi-Fi is slow, but yeah, admittedly, but that's pretty cool. That's cool. Another thing that I learned of just tonight, one of my buddies was showing me, I'm like, oh, this is amazing, is hitting the music note. Okay. So a band came on this big speaker behind us, and, he, and uh, I just hit that note, held it up to the speaker. It read who it was. It rolled in my Zune account, and I downloaded the whole album in like less than a minute. Very nice. Very nice. That's when Wi-Fi was working better. Yeah. Um, so, talking about Zune real quick, um, yeah. I just had a quick question for you. And 
You showed us a lot of positive stuff just now, and this may be a, a damper on things, but can, can, does Mango allow us to pull in our friend Zune cards yet? Oh, you know what? You got me on that one. I don't know the answer to that one. I need to check with one of my buddies. You know what there. a Zune card is, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, the original, I mean, up until now, it's like the whole Zune experience is there except for that, which is the Zune is all about the social, and the social is missing on Windows Phone. I was just wondering if that was being brought back in. Yep. That one I got to check. Okay. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> so we'll find out later when we get our review unit. So, uh, but that was, a, anything else on there? Was that really the, I mean, there was a lot there. Yeah. Another thing that I think is really darn cool, we can't demo it in here because it's too loud, but it's hands-free messaging. So I found myself the other day cooking eggs breakfast, right? I'm listening to some music on my phone via Bluetooth on a little stereo I have in the kitchen, flipping the eggs, and a text comes in from my realtor, interrupts some music, says, Andy, can't see house at 11, how about noon? And then it gives me the option to ignore or reply. I say reply. With your voice. With my voice. Sounds good. It records it. Would you like to send? Yes, send. Sends a message right back to the music. Never even dropped the spatula. <laughs> Never cool. even looked at the phone. Right. So obviously there's a lot of features that you guys are, you're not, I mean, originally people thought you were playing catch up, right? Because with the old Windows phone and then coming out with Windows 7, when things like Android and iOS have been out for years and, you know, iterating, people thought you were playing catch up to them. And now it seems like you guys actually have features that they, they do not have built in. You don't need to download any external apps to do the things that you're doing. It's all built in to the phone. We have a very unique, different experience, right? Right from the get-go, when you look at the start screen, you know you're looking at something right. different. You're not looking at a bunch of different separate apps that you have to jump in and out of. They're integrated in a very smart way. So for the, like the People Hub, it's going to once again link into the Twitter, the Facebook. I don't have to launch Facebook right. independently. I don't have to launch Twitter independently. It's all grouped together. Andy, we appreciate your time showing us Windows Phone Mango. When can people expect to get uh, their hands on Mango phones or downloads? This fall, it will be delivered to existing handsets, so any existing customers will get the software, and then uh, hardware coming after. after that. <laughs> Let's say holiday 2011. Andy, thanks so much. We appreciate your time. Yeah, thank you. More from GDGT Seattle right after this.